On land, biologists mostly use their eyes to determine wildlife population estimates. For fish, it's a whole different process. For about two weeks every summer, we test net the lake, and what that entails is we set 39 nets all throughout the lake, anywhere from East Devil's Lake to Pelican Lake. We set them, you know, mid-afternoon one day, and then the next day in the morning we'll go out and pick the nets and see what we caught. And from that, we get an idea of what the fish populations are like. Devil's Lake has what we call the big four species of fish. Walleye, northern pike, yellow perch, and white bass. And how are the walleye populations holding up? Well, small walleye right now I think will be, you know, more or less average. Maybe a little bit better than we've seen the last couple years because we've had a couple good year classes in a row. Um, and larger walleye say they'll fish over 20 inches. So far anyway, if the numbers hold up like they've been, should come in above average. We've seen a decent number of those larger walleye in our test nets this year. And northern pike. Northern pike will be a little above average, probably similar to what they've been for the past few years. Anglers target yellow perch primarily in the winter on Devil's Lake. And yellow perch, they will probably come in maybe just a little above average, but it seems like a fair amount of those are kind of smaller ones right now. They're maybe not quite the ones the anglers would be looking for yet, but given you know a year or two, they'll grow and be decent size for the anglers. And white bass populations? probably have a, a record number of white bass in our nets this year. It looks like they're pretty abundant right now and they had a strong year class in 2015 so that's the majority of those fish out there right now are those 2015 year class fish and they're running anywhere from 10 to about 13 inches long. Casper says the fish survey shows fish populations in Devil's Lake overall doing well which means continued good fishing in the future. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.